Welcome, it's Birchwood and your you. So let's get to it. You know the drill. Here I am, inspired you to do something great, trying to inspire you to find your potential, helping you use systems, skills, goals to achieve all that, to change your habits. With the society we're growing up in right now, it is to create your success. Today, we're talking about comparing your success to others. The funny thing is, very interesting, it's only a recent phenomenon with the last 10 years that social media is such a thing, it's such a fad. In all reality, it's mindless entertainment for the masses. A quote left by Anonymous. It's the new reality TV, just a much cheaper, crappier version. <laughs> don't hate, just a realization. You find yourselves scrolling through, flicking through and are bored or don't want to pay attention to something. In reality, we shouldn't be doing that, we should be focusing. But, back to the point, we're following other people's success. Don't compare your success to others because chances are it's not really what defines you and not really what you want to work towards. When we see uh, we see Justin Bieber or Miley Cyrus or with their big homes, their big cars and their big boats, driving around, just being in your face, a lot of people have hate on that or a lot of people say, man, you know, I wish I had that. That looks amazing. But in reality, what I've found is that we get so caught up with the journey that when we actually get there, we realize it's not what I wanted. And then you say, man, that was a waste of time. Have you ever felt that way when you know someone had something that you didn't and you worked your butt off and you actually got to that point and you found that it wasn't really worth it? Yeah, maybe, maybe. It's all, almost like that old child mentality when someone has something you want to take it but then you have, you're like, oh, I don't really want this and you throw it away. Yeah, that's what it is. Unless it truly aligns with your goals and your values and you're chasing it for a set purpose, don't do it. Focus on yourself. Don't let others influence what success is to you. Everyone's different. What success is to me is helping people realize, realize their potential, helping people become the best they can be because I believe that human capital is worth way more than what people are willing to pay and that you can create your own success, your own finance, your own travel, whatever you want. We're capable of it, it starts here. Put it this way, I'm here with this freaking big boat. I think that's called a yacht, a yacht, a yacht, a yacht. It's a yacht, there, yacht. As much as I wanna look at that, it's like, man, you know, I wish I had a yacht. I wish I was on that yacht just chilling there, sipping wine, but in reality, maybe I don't. I don't know. And even if that was a goal of mine, don't focus on that. If I'm comparing myself to this yacht every day and say, I don't have a yacht. Damn, I don't have a yacht. Wake up the next day, oh, I don't have a yacht. Yeah, what is going on? You're always gonna beat yourself up and you're not really gonna make any progress. But when you start looking at the small steps, you will, you know, Darren Hardy made a great analogy. It's like standing at the bottom of an entirely tall staircase. Like think of the CN Tower and the whole thing being a staircase. Think of this whole staircase. If you sat at the bottom and looked up, but you see sky, you say, oh my God, tall, tall, tall staircase. How am I ever gonna get that? It's depressing, it's demotivating. Nobody wants to think about how they're not there yet. But when you just focus on that small step in front of you, that next rank, that next goal, that next progress, that next speech, that next song, whatever works towards your goals, then and it makes it a lot easier because he's oh that oh a little step oh a little step oh a little step oh another step oh another step and you keep going keep going keep going until so I say man I've got a boat I think it's called a yacht I've got a yacht right but don't compare yourself to that success just focus on what's in front of you each day each day each day and you'll naturally come to your true potential naturally come to what you're truly set out to do hopefully that helps seriously if you don't implement this it's not going to happen so focus on little small steps to lead up to your big steps because the consistency is what gets it so Finishing things off, you know, I'm Avery Birch out here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. If you like what I do, like what I talk about, feel free to check out my website below, learn a little bit about what I do and how we can work together, how I can personally mentor you. With that, I bid you adieu. Have a good day.